So every year as the flows start to drop out here in the Clark Fork in uh, mid late July or early August, we start rebuilding the dam. Basically as flows drop, we keep building the dam and chasing the river further out from where the head gate is where we're standing to get water down the ditch. And sometimes during low flows, we, we you know bring the dam most or all the way across the river using whatever we have available. It, It's not the prettiest technology, but it, it works. Um, it's a lot of work for us, unfortunately. It's a technique that's been used here for close to 100 years, and we know there's better ways to possibly do that, and that's what this project's about right here, to try to have less of an impact on the river, but still get the water that we need down the ditch. We're on Dry Cottonwood Creek Ranch, which is owned by the Clark Fork Coalition. It's a 3,500 acre working cattle ranch in the Deer Lodge Valley. Yeah, we've had a nice wet spring. And down below where the cottonwood trees come down is where Dry Cottonwood Creek meets the river, where there's migrating cutthroat going up and down that creek. And we happen to have an irrigation diversion right below where that creek comes in and it's a great spot to get water but it's a great spot to also sometimes get fish down your ditch too. The metals and tailings will be taken away and stored safely and the, the river itself will be restored but without having that connection the fishery can't come back. There's not a one, one size fits all option to irrigation structures and diversion dams. We're trying to find options that are site specific and our hope is in the future that this, you may not even notice there's a diversion there, but we're gonna still be able to effectively get water down the ditch. We really approach our conservation work with a good deal of humility. We want to make it a win-win for all involved. It's just essential because the health of our rivers is really inextricably linked with the people who are living on the land. Having a river connected for people and fish and continue to support the rural economy, it's a simple idea. Proving that you can do it is, is where we, how we, we bring that all together and projects like this allow us to prove that we can. Through the course of the last four months, we basically have transformed this site, working with a team of engineers and partners to come up with a solution. There's been an incredible transformation at this site from being a pretty antiquated diversion and an unscreened ditch. The final product is spectacular and we hope we can bring folks here to see what a functioning diversion with lower maintenance and that is passable for recreation and fish can look like. From our perspective, the more fish we can keep out of the, the ditches, the more fish we can keep in the rivers and the, uh, the better the populations will be. There are eight diversions here in, in the upper Clark Fork and this was the first one that, that we worked on and it was a great learning site to be able to uh, show what a effective fish screen and diversion looks like on the river here and every single one of these structures has an impact. We're trying to kind of take a, a big picture on all of this and address multiple issues through this. And these main stem diversions are one piece and a much bigger puzzle of our restoration in the upper Clark Fork. The goal for restoring the upper Clark Fork is to make it clean, healthy, and whole again. All the tributary work that we're doing, all the diversions that we're removing so that fish can move, you know, those are small projects 
when they accumulate, you know, after a few years, you've got 10, 20, 50, 100 on the ground, and suddenly you're getting towards your goal. Suddenly the river is cleaner, it's cooler, fish are moving, ranchers are making more money. That's the vision, and we know we're getting there. Year by year, we're tracking the results, we're learning lessons, we're adapting our technologies, and we're getting there. <laughs>